we're just above Torva and we're in some sandstone and there's a really nice uh, example of the way that cleavage and bedding interact here. So these blocks that you see coming through here, these slabs, they're individual beds in the sandstone. And in sandstone often you get what's called normal graded bedding. So the bottom of the beds are coarser and they gradually get finer as you go up through the beds. So you get more fine grained, more clay materials as you go up through the bed. And it's orientation of the clay crystals, these platy mineral crystals, under pressure that produces the cleavage. So you get better developed cleavage at the top of the beds. So here you can see this vertical layering here, like this. This is cleavage and it's developed much better at the top of the beds than it is at the bottom of the bed. And then the next bed underneath, you again, you get well developed cleavage at the top, which gets worse as you go down again. So the cleavage is like this. So compression was like that and the beds have been folded this way. So you've had horizontal beds which have been folded like that because of compression that way, and you've made cleavage that way as well. So you get a nice interaction of the cleavage at an angle to the bedding. The cleavage is better developed in the top of the beds, and that's sedimentologically in the top of the beds. These are the top of the beds as they were deposited. So since the cleavage is better developed at the top of the beds now, it means that these beds are the right way up as well. So it tells us a lot of information about the tectonic history, what the compressive stresses were, how much folding there's been, which way up the beds are. There's a lot of information just from the interaction between this cleavage and the bedding.